there. So. Hey, Ty, uh, defensively is the reason you guys pretty much won this game. You didn't let Golden State get in any type of rhythm. What what made it so special so they didn't get to get downhill? Um, we were just scrambling. Um, we know they, they shoot a lot of threes. We shoot, they shoot them at a high clip. Um, but just trying to give them no open looks, trying to force them downhill, uh, but still stay attached, um, still stay physical with them um, and aggressive. And, uh, like we've been doing, uh, our bigs did a great job of uh, protecting the rim, um, playing it vertical, and not giving them anything easy uh, at the rim at the same time. So just stuck to the game plan, um, stuck with it, made them hit tough shots, take tough shots, um, and it worked in our favor. Ties, y'all went to that two-point guard lineup again, and it really benefited you late in the game. Just describe again how just how you and Ja can play off of each other and close the game out like the way you did. Today. Yeah, um, just a different look. Different look, um, able to have another, um, you know, playmaker, someone who can, you know, distribute, um, you know, set up the offense, you know, besides 12 out there. Uh, just a different look. And, and we're just working for us. We're going to try to continue to use it. Um, and that's uh, For all three of you guys, just what's different about Ja this season, particularly since he came back from uh, the knee injury compared to season past? Yeah, he wasn't. Um... You know, he wasn't out too long. Uh, thank God that, you know, it wasn't one of those injuries that just keep you out. But just definitely more explosive, reading the game better. Probably has, like, a little more hang time just to make different reads. But, you know, with experience and all those games he's racking up, he's going to see the floor a lot better and make make better decisions. Um, you know, the decisions before were good, but now he's just, you know, on another level right now. Yeah, I mean, Jaws, Jaw, he's just locked in right now. He's just tapped in right now. Um, you know, he's a very, very good player. So it's kind of always something that he's had in his bag. And right now he's just able to, you know, show it. And um, everyone's watching right now because we have uh, been playing really well. So, um, you know, Jaws Jaws ja, ja, just a really, really great player and able to do some some crazy things on the floor. Uh, this one's for uh, uh, Jaron and BC. Um, y'all, y'all too, when y'all share the floor, um, y'all's like net rating is just really high right now. And just – Y'all spend a lot of time together in the offseason, whether it's just off the court stuff or uh, putting in uh, work and workouts and stuff. Just what, how has that translated to now to where y'all just had this great impact whenever y'all shut the floor together? Yeah, I mean, like playing with Tripp and Tyus, and I feel like that um, they're just like a different level that we have. Like, I'm able to just kind of just like look at Tripp, look at Tyus, and we kind of know what to do. Um, you know, this is our third, third year doing this together. So, um, I just feel like we have a really good connection on the floor, off of the floor, too. And it's uh, really, really showing right now because it's something that we've kind of worked on and we've grown during games. And, um, you know, it's just been, you know, able to show. And, uh, yeah, it's just something that we've kind of worked on these past three years. And now it's, it's really showing. Yeah, it's natural. Um, nothing that's forced. We, we just we complement each other really well on the floor, just of what our abilities are and especially the pedigree we come from, especially like all three of us come from, you know, well-coached systems like in college. And then we kind of just translate now. Um, in the off season, you know, we just work on our game. We spend a lot of time with each other. And with that, you know, on the floor, the chemistry is just a lot easier. So natural stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of real, realness. Write that, write that down. There you go. Jaron, uh, Ja, at the end of last year, said that he didn't think you guys were getting – the amount of respect that you should. And then he came in here tonight and he said, well, after this game, we're probably going to start getting the respect that we should. Do you feel the same way? And does that matter to you at all? What do you think? No, no way. It's just, I think, I, I think everybody just stopped caring. Like it just, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're going to have, we're going to play another game. Everybody's going to come watch another game. Another team is going to try to come beat us and prove whatever point they got because we have our own. You know, we all have our own goals. It doesn't – it just doesn't really matter in the grand scheme. Uh, but, you know, we always support, like, who's on this journey with us, on this ride for us. You know, we got loud fans right now. These games have been loud. These games have been intense, and that's what we need. That's what we want. And we just can't thank them enough for just coming out and being being supportive as our sixth man out there. Uh, and Anybody else just really doesn't matter. We're just, <clears throat> we're not focused on it. Uh, 
Uh, for, for any of you guys, Josh just said he feels like you guys have, have proven yourselves as one of the best teams in this league. Is, is there a point where, you know, that belief hit? Is, you know, is there something that, that's happened over these last 10 or the 10 games in the last two months? Uh, we, we always, you know, believed it. We always believed in ourselves, um, even going back to, I mean, last year. Um, you know, we always believed that there was more. We always believed that, you know, we still had room to, you know, grow room for improvement. Um, and we just hadn't put it all the way together yet. Um, and so that's all we're trying to do is continue to take steps forward, um, you know, and build off of what we did last year. Um, and, you know, we've just seen it, you know, through this first half of the year, um, you know, beating some of the top teams, you know, a couple big win streaks. Um, you know, we just see that we're continuing to grow, continuing to get better, um, continue to play at a level that we knew we were capable of. Um, like Garen said, regardless of if anyone outside that locker room knew we were capable of it, we did and we believed in it. And, you know, that's all that we really cared about. Hey, BC, the, describe the atmosphere that was going through the game, especially when you finish on a couple of those lobs. But how did it feel from the floor you're hearing that crowd erupt like that on multiple, multiple occasions? It was fun. Uh, it was it was very nice. Um, you know, it was a really big, big run that we had in that third quarter. Um, just like my job coming off off the bench, just just kind of try to like bring that like energy, uh, try to find ways just to make it happen, really. And um, you know, I was able to uh, do that, and you know, we were able to go on a run on that third, and it was it was really fun. You know, the uh, crowd got loud, and I'm I'm very happy because you know they're a really really good team. So that's kind of something that that we need playing versus them because every time that you play them there, it gets crazy loud. So so it's, it's kind of nice having that that same thing back here. Um, all, all three of you guys were on really good college teams that probably racked up a bunch of wins in a row at certain points, but it's not often in the NBA a team wins 10 in a row. Um, I'm curious, just what does it feel like when you're on a 10-game winning streak like this? Uh, weird. I think uh, a long time ago I was on like a seven-game win streak, and it felt crazy. And I think now it just kind of – it's just a different feeling. I feel more – I mean, you could just say locked in. I just, I just feel like here we go. Let's just go get another one. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm thinking about it as much. Just because we just have that belief in ourselves, and we know what we expect of each other, and this is kind of what we expect. So, you know, on to the next one. But that attitude is, you know, the whole reason for this, why it's working. For you guys, what is it like to see Zaire Williams have a game like he had tonight? And honestly, just the last couple of stretches of games that he's had, especially coming off of the injury. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. We know Zaire is capable of that. Um, you know, I'll continue to say, you know, when he was out uh, a couple of weeks ago, he took that time to, you know, keep learning. Um, you know, he just a different perspective for him, not being out on the court, um, but he was still watching film, still engaged. Um, you know, still watching the games, engaged in team meetings, uh, scouting reports and everything like that. So um, he took that time to, you know, kind of decompress. And when he got back out on the court, you see his confidence um, skyrocketing. Um, and you just see he's way more comfortable um, now than he was beginning of the year. Um, and, and it's huge for our team when he's playing like that. <laughs> Last one, man. Last one. Uh, what was the, the locker room atmosphere like? I mean, I see there you like you were Millie rocking outside of the door right there. Ja was, you know, turned up when he came in here. Uh, and then Darko comes in, like, <laughs> Darko comes in with a sweaty, like, wet shirt. What was the locker room atmosphere like? It was up, for real. It was up. You know, Darko was obviously away from us, so for him to come back and just get right back to it and us to get this win is big. I know he felt really good about that, so I'm happy for him. Uh, you know, we're just, we're just, this is what we do, man. We're just enjoying, enjoying what's going on. Uh, I wasn't Millie rocking. Uh, I wasn't. I was just, I was just over there posting, man. Just you know, but we're we're enjoying this. We're really enjoying everything for what it is. Um, we have a forward mentality, but you know, we we're in we're in the present. We we get what's going on right now. We're happy for one another. Good job. Good last question. Great job, everybody.